After verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first name and last name and date of birth, place your patient in a supine position with their arms above the head. For the patient's comfort, place a pillow or inclined plane under the patient's head. You can also place leg elevation pillows under the patient's knees. Center the internal axial plane laser light on the appropriate landmark. Here we use the iliac crest. Make sure that the lateral laser light is at the mid thickness of the lumbar spine. Note that this is not the mid coronal plane. Make sure that the longitudinal laser light is placed on the median sagittal plane. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform proper hand hygiene such as a rub with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Select your patient from the work list, then click on Patient Selection. Verify the pre-filled information and fill in the weight and height. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches with the one indicated. Note that the patient's orientation is feet first. After checking the scan parameters, click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and launch the acquisition when the buttons flash. In this video, we show you how to fix the acquisition of the lateral scalp view if an error was acquired during the first acquisition of the AP scalp view. To do this, Click on the right icon represented by a grid with an arrow. Then on the image at the top right, move the mouse to locate the beginning of the lateral acquisition and modify the values in the start position and end position. You will now need to click confirm again to obtain the acquisition of the lateral scan mode. On the keyboard, move the table and launch the acquisition when the buttons flash. Click on Next Series. This trick allows you to avoid programming an acquisition zone outside the scan mode. The modulation of the MA is done from the most recent scan mode performed. The examination will now be optimized. Place your slices box on the lateral localizer, covering from the lower edge of T12 superiorly to the lower edge of S1 inferiorly. Ensure that the field of view covers the vertebral bodies and the spinous processes from A to P. Then check the AP scalp view to make sure that the field covers the vertebral bodies over the entire acquisition. Check the consistency of the acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of a lumbar spine, you will need at least a smooth reconstruction filter for the soft tissue study and a sharper or edge enhancement reconstruction filter for bone evaluation. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and proceed with the acquisition when the buttons flash. Verify the absence of patient motion on the acquisition and ensure that all anatomical structures are covered. After clicking End Exam, you can now perform MPR and eventually a 3D volume rendered reconstruction. The visualization of the spine in the sagittal and coronal plane is essential in case of spinal trauma. A set of axial reconstructions each in the plane of the disc spaces is appreciated for a study of disc spaces and spinal nerve roots. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them to get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions as indicated at your facility. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.